Welcome back to Hacker. In this video, we'll tackle a popular legal problem, reorder list. This problem involves man a single linked list to achieve a specific order. We'll go through the problem statement, explain our approach, visualize the algorithm with the flowchart, write in the solution, and finally, present the code with a detailed explanation. Let's get started. You are given the head of a single linked list. The list can be represented as L0, L1, all the way up to L-1 and LN. So, reorder the list on the following form, L0, LN, L1, L-1, uh, for by L2 and L-2, so on. So you may not modify the values in the list nodes, uh, only the nodes themselves may be changed. So basically we need to change the reference and note the values itself. So you got the idea, right? So what we need to do is like, we need to point the first to ne uh, first next to the last one and then last next to the second one and the seconds next to the second last one. So basically uh, we can say that like, we kind of should reverse this uh, after the middle and then we should uh, keep like uh, like form this as two uh, independent lists and then we can keep merging them this is the basic approach like we can get it off like the first shot like we, uh, when we think of this problem right so yeah so in the uh, example one we see that the same they followed uh, and so this is the one two three for given and then uh, we form it as one four two three right and example two as well uh, so one two three four five so we just uh, form this one next to the five and then uh, followed with the two and then two next to the four and followed by the three so this is the head and this one and the constraints is the number of nodes in the list is in the range of 1 to 5 to the tempo 4 and the next the node values in the range of 1 to 1000 so this is the boilerplate code given approach to reorder the list we'll follow these steps first find the middle of the linked list we'll use the slow and the first point technique to look at the middle node and then we reverse the second half of the list so starting from the middle node we'll reverse the second half of the list and then merge the two halves. We will match the first half and the second uh, reversed half to achieve the required order. So algorithm. So the algorithm is same here like what we discussed just like putting this into uh, chronological steps here. Uh, so the firstly we find the middle of the linked list. How do we find that? In the, inside the two pointers slow and the fast move slow by one step and fast by two steps until the fast reaches the end of the list and then the second pointer will be at the middle node when the fast reaches the end of the list because like that moves two steps ahead right so basically we're doing this length by two and then um, we'll be at the mid so uh, we, we know right from finding median also like we do n by two if it is a even number uh, if it's an odd number length v plus we do like n plus one by two it's kind of same here when we uh, follow this approach so uh, here next step is to reverse the second half of the list so starting from the node next to the middle node reverse the second half of the list and then the third step is merge the two halves uh, so alternate the nodes from the first half and the reverse second half to form the reorder list let's look at the flow chart so we start with finding the middle of the list and then we reverse the second half of the list and then post that we merge the two halves and that's the end of our algorithm so let's do the dry run uh, for our approach. So this is the given uh, list, right? So we start with setting the both uh, fast and slow pointers uh, in slice to the first uh, node. So here the slow pointer represented by the blue and the fast by the brown, right? So here, uh, so for uh, after the first iteration, how would this total look like? Since like we move it at uh, one step ahead for this blue, uh, like our slow pointer, and uh, two steps ahead for the uh, first pointer so this would be at three now right so in the next iteration how would be this we'll just copy this and in the next iteration uh, this would move to here and this would move to none so basically uh, in this iteration we got this like end of the list so now the middle node is two so the next step is to uh, reverse the second half which is like we have to reverse the list from the three to four so that is like we just pick this list just as is now uh, so we need to reverse this list this should point to none this also should point to none so we need to reverse this list let's make it reverse one four point to three and three points to none so now we have the first half and the second reverse half so now we need to merge these two lists to form the end result so which is this one uh, so we from this one afford by the four like we just take the two pointers here uh, this one represent this one and then represent this one with i'm just using the two pointers here to represent this one 
so the first iteration we must these two and uh, which forms one four and the next iteration we move one step ahead in this one and which is two here and which is three here so here we must two and we must four, uh, three here and then that is end of it so we keep it point to none so we got our results which is one four two three so that's going to the core explanation Firstly, we find in the middle of the list how do we do that like we in the uh, we just inside the slow and fast pointers to head and then we move the first pointer one uh, one step at a time and the slow pointer two steps at a time for this we should have a check uh, like while fast is not null and the first dot next is also not null because uh, like if we just do first uh, like null check for the first when you do first dot next dot next we'll get a null pointer exception that's why we checking the uh, first dot next is also not null so and then uh, this would um, get the slow pointer to the middle of the list so here we just reverse the second half of the list now how do we do that we point the previous to none and the current to slow dot next which is the the next step is to dot next is equal to null uh, so why because like we should uh, break the reference from the uh, like first half of the list to the second half of the list that's why we make it like slow dot next because at the end of the day what we're doing is we're forming a two individual list like logically and then we're clubbing them right so that's why we should uh, mark this reference to none and then uh, while current is uh, not none that is like slow dot next here uh, like this keeps track of the uh, other half of the list so uh, what we're doing is like we, we you know, firstly uh, like before making the current dot next to previous we just take the reference of that because we want it to for our next iteration right so next time is equal to current dot next and then what we're doing is current dot next is called previous so look what is previous here none so we're pointing the current dot next to previous and then uh, and the next step is like previous uh, current like we just uh, change it for the next iteration uh, for now uh, the next iteration the previous is the current list uh, sorry current node here and then for the uh, current what is like next temp right so we just make current is going next this is just like preparing for the next iteration so if you're looking for a uh, detailed video on how to reverse a linked list i'll put a link in the description you can check it on the same video so next step is to merge the two halves so here the we make two pointers again here first and the second pointer so if the first is pointing to the head and the second is pointing to the previous because the previous here is our new head right so that's why we keep to the uh, second to the previous head. Basically, this point, the first and second are uh, pointing to the heads of the two logically formed lists. So here, uh, while uh, second, uh, why we take second? Because the second is always the smallest list. Uh, list. Because uh, I mean, like uh, second holds reference to the head, right, of the second uh, list, which is the reversed half list, right. So, uh, if you take the example of the even list, it is like both, like first and the second list, or like both halves have the same length. If you take the example of a odd length, that is like, let's say five, the middle is at the third node, or else one, two, three, and the second half list is four, five. So, that is uh, less, right? So, that's why we just check the while second. So, uh, while second ensures that, like, we don't need to check for the first, because the first is always uh, greater than or equal to the second. So, that's why we just check for the existence of the second node. So for while second exists, uh, we take the uh, temp one and temp two and make it to the first dot next to second dot next. This is just uh, storing the temporary variables. And uh, remember, this is a tuple and packing approach. Uh, and then the next step is to first dot next is equal to second. So we should change the reference right? first dot next is equal to second. And before changing the reference, we just keep track of this reference here. That's what we're doing it. Uh, so and then he similarly here the second dot next is equal to temp one. So here also. Uh, we just uh, change second node reference to the i mean second node's next reference here and then we just preparing for the next iteration we make the first and second point to the temp one and temp two uh, so hope you got the approach here so complex analysis the time complexity here is of n where n is the number of nodes in the linked list we traverse the list multiple times but each operation uh, finding the middle reversing uh, uh, merging is linear uh, and then this next is the space complexity, uh, which is O of 1. Uh, we use a constant space, right? So, like, we don't use any uh, variable that goes with the size of the given list. That's why it's O of 1. Demo and conclusion. So, I got the code ready. Uh, let's try uh, retrieving it. So, yeah, let's try submitting this. So yeah, it says bits 42%, but 
I seen it reached 98 percent as well. So let's see that. Yeah, see, it almost is like 98 percent, which is 97.89. Yeah, this again depends on how many users are submitting their solutions and how busy the server. So yeah, like when you submit it again, like it would show the next, but don't take it seriously. If when your solution is accepted, it's cool and good. Conclusion, that's how you can rear a linked list in linear time in the constant space. This problem is a great example of how you can manipulate the linked list using two pointer techniques and reversal operations. Thank you for tuning into this episode of Hack Code. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more coding tutorials and problem solving tips. If you have any questions or solutions for the future topics, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Until next time, happy coding.